been down to a triathlon today and uh, just heading out of this big smoke. This is uh, pretty well right in the middle of Melbourne. Turn right at Queensbridge Street. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. So it's the last night at my little Airbnb here at uh, Selby. It's been great. It's only been 10 minutes from Emma's place and uh, I've caught up with Em and her kids for the last week. Done a lot of netball. Uh, went to town today and watched Justin run in a uh, triathlon, which is great. But yeah, tonight's the last night, so tomorrow morning I'll... Uh, be up and have some breakfast, pack all my kit up and hop in the car and next destination, Phillip Island. And another week down there, ending up uh, at Easter with uh, my younger daughter, the frog. So, uh, all good. I am starting to get um, a little bit homesick. I'm definitely missing the uh, warm weather up in Queensland. It's a bit cool here. But uh, yeah, we'll get going uh, next Sunday, I guess, and drive back up. And then there's plenty to do when I'm back up on Peggy Ann. Well, it's out of the mountains and uh, down to the coast this morning. I'm uh, heading down to my other daughter's place at uh, Phillip Island, so that'll be a bit of a sea change uh, for the trip. by the ocean. Uh, just going for a bit of a walk down the beach. Uh, I'll be here till Sunday. Uh, Sunday I'm going to jump in the car and head back up north. Well it's uh, 1.30 in the morning and uh, I'm just leaving Phillip Island. Had a great week down here. The weather really fined up when I got down the island and we've had uh, few really nice days, even had a swim today, so uh, it's been good. 
So it's been great to catch up with the kids and the grandkids. We've had a great time while I've been down here, but um, now I've got the long drive uh, back up to sunny Queensland, which isn't that sunny at the moment. A bit of rain up there at the moment, I think. Anyhow, uh, I'm heading off early because it is Easter Sunday and I'm sort of figuring that uh, the traffic won't be too bad uh, today. Tomorrow could be a different uh, kettle of fish. So, um, heading off pretty early and uh, I'll be in Newcastle a bit after lunch. And I've booked a motel in Newcastle so I'll have an early afternoon there and uh, get my head down pretty early and I'll probably be up early again tomorrow morning and finish the trip uh, up to Queensland. It's uh, a little bit sad leaving the kids and grandkids but um, plenty to do when I get back up to the boat anyway and uh, the weather here is great in autumn but come winter which is just down the track miles too cold for my head to be down here that's for sure. Anyhow, we better get this uh, drive behind us, I guess. It's uh, quite a long one. We live in a big country. trip has been like this morning it's uh, Easter Sunday and not many people on the road so uh, I don't think I'll pass the truck all the way from Melbourne and not many cars either so probably a good day to be on the road not much traffic about anyway we're uh, gonna do another hour or so probably stop at Gundagai and um, have a cup and uh, a little bit of a walk around freshen up a bit. So we just come into the outskirts of Sydney and uh, I'm glad I'm heading north and not south because the other side of the road has been like that for the last uh, 5k's. This is the uh, North Connects Tunnel and it's just recently opened and it takes you between the Hume virtually and the Newcastle Freeway so you don't have to drive through any traffic in Sydney at all, it's a pretty good setup. About six and a half bucks to get through I think. After a good shower, a comfortable bed, it's time to get on the road again. Another early one this morning, uh, up at 2 and uh, on the road by 2.30. I've left that early because uh, it's Easter Monday today and there'll be a lot of people uh, heading home after the holiday so uh, I'm just going to knock a bit of this trip out before the roads get too busy. Uh, how you going? 
and uh, just rocking along to uh, Mark Knopfler there. Um, I love this drive on the Pacific Highway. I reckon it's the only way to go from Brisbane to Melbourne. Um, the Pacific Highway and the Hume, it's a great drive. Now, the reason I like it, it's a divided highway all the way. Uh, so it's a lot less dangerous, I think. Um, you've got cars all going in the one direction with a divider in between the ones going in the opposite direction. It's 110 k's for most of the trip. So it's a fair bit quicker. And now that they've got all this new part of the Pacific Highway um, opened up, it's uh, only about, I think, probably eight or nine hours from Sydney to Brisbane. So it really is a great drive. We're just running into a bit of rain now. So uh, we're not far from um, Northern New South Wales, Queensland border. under this bridge uh, earlier this year and now we're going to go over it. This is the uh, new bridge at Harwood across the Clarence River. There's a bit of a structure. The mighty Clarence. And there's the old uh, lift bridge. They still have to lift that to let your boat go in there. And the Harwood Hotel down there. I've watched, I've watched this bridge being built over the last uh, three or four years and uh, it's great now this piece of road's open and you can use it. Well here we are back in sunny Queensland. <laughs> down a bit for the last bit of the trip I guess. Pretty wet here. Well, nearly home. Off the highway now, and this is the last little stretch of road back to the marina. Good to be here. Been a long trip, both down and back up, but um, yeah, the little Mazda went all right, so it's been a good trip. But it is good to be back home, back on my boat, and back in my own bed. Fantastic. Hopefully this weather clears up pretty soon. You know, people always say to me uh, when I'm heading to sea, be careful out there. But I tell you what, that uh, trip I just did on the car is a lot more dangerous than anything I do out at sea. Uh, even though I travel down a dual highway, which makes it a lot safer, there's still cars going past. And in that wet weather, it was um, atrocious conditions and uh, very, very dangerous. So uh, I feel a lot safer uh, when I'm heading out to sea. Everything's happening pretty slowly. There's no, nothing really close. It's a lot safer as far as I'm concerned being at sea than it is uh, travelling on the road. The weather's the only thing you've got to watch and um, look, if you pick your time uh, to travel, uh, you can do it really safely. Well, uh, I've just been for a trip up the mast. Um, but I've got a bit of work to do uh, on the mast and the headsail. And uh, I've got the sail down. It was a bit of a problem because the sail was jammed up there and what's happened the foil on these um, on these furling head stays, um, the foil has uh, come loose at the top, and it's out of alignment. So the bearing at the top of the mast wouldn't come down over the misalignment. So this is the problem. These screws come loose and. Uh, the whole foil gets out of a line and this bearing at the top jams on it so, so what I've got to do is 
unscrew these little grub screws, put Loctite on them and tighten them up again. Look, I've got an exciting year coming up and lots of adventures to uh, take you on. So I hope you've enjoyed this short one. The next one will be longer and uh, there'll be a bit more content from up north. Cheers, dudes.